can you beat every infinite warfare easter egg in only four hours now you might be getting some serious deja vu because i made a video similar to this where we did all of the infinite warfare easter eggs in eight hours now that video was without director's cut so i wanted to see how much faster we could beat the easter eggs if we had director's cut on also i've been watching a few speedruns on the map so i implemented some of those strategies into the runs and it honestly got crazy but yeah before the video starts all right i need your guys's help youtube has really been doing my channel dirty with recommendations and it's about time we fight back okay if you guys could just leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel then youtube will recognize this video and will actually recommend it so yeah if you guys could just do that for me it would really help me and i'd appreciate it quite a lot but yeah without wasting any more time let's just jump right into the video right then boys so our first map we have zombies in space land now i actually think we can get a pretty good time on this as long as we get lucky with the uh city parts and getting one of the laser pistols out of the box if we can do that we can actually get a really good time so let's go ahead and grab the neil head and we'll whack that on him right now so there we go now i think i'm just gonna head straight to the box because to be honest if we don't get lucky with the box then there's no real point even continuing on with the run it's one of the pieces of the city come actually there you go all right come on game give me give me one of the laser pistols please the reaver okay i mean not really what i want uh this also is not what i want game oh my god game please just give, give me give me something bro oh my how has it moved already that's crazy all right well it's fine it's not the end of the world let's just keep opening up the map we'll go through the portals because another thing we need to work on is uh getting pack a bunch open and we need to do it because i'm pretty sure without it we can't actually uh like start the whole city con process all right let's hit the magic box a few more times hopefully we get it okay we got the axe i don't even know why, what this does to be honest oh my god we got one thank god actually finally bro we did end the round by accident i didn't mean to do that but we don't talk about that oh okay here's the boom box it's actually pretty good we do need that uh, we can also take this uh portal right here and also take this portal right here and then we just need to go to polar peak and activate the portal there and then that'll be all of the portals activated and that'll be pack punch open let's go ahead and turn on the power this axe actually wasn't the worst thing because we i do have some pretty fast like movement with it so i'll actually take it but what i'm also going to do is i'm going to come in here and package my kendall's and i'm also going to pop coupon clipper and i'm going to package it a second time straight away now this will just make it akimbo with a lot more ammo i was just going to come in massive for the uh city com defense there now we're just missing that one part which is the calculator oh here it is so that's perfect i don't know if hasselhoff will build the city com this round i feel like he will but we'll see all right you're gonna be the city com no i think we have to wait till next round kind of sucks but you know what it's fine so far it's only been five minutes which isn't actually that bad okay so that's the end of round two is he gonna be ready yet oh there we go okay hassle's ready so go ahead and pick up the city com oh my god there we go actually fumbling okay so now we just need to find the city com locations now there's three ideal locations right but whether or not they'll actually be there is a whole different question also i had the evade card on it actually just helps so much with movement okay here we go here's our first city com part like location i wonder how good the axe will be the axe is a one tap and it kills multiple zombies i feel like getting the axe is actually a really good look but at the same time it's kind of making it a bit hard to uh defend the city com actually no i feel like if, if i just sit behind it it's actually free oh my god this actually was so easy bro it's only got uh, seven more seconds left all right so there we go we got the city com now we need to go to the next round so that spot was good in terms of it being easy but ideally we need it to be like one of the ones that are close to spawn because we want to be able to come back to this like bridge area because it's where the fastest spawns are okay so back on the hunt okay, it's not here is it down here usually i always get one that's down here yep here we go perfect now again i might be able to just sit back here with the axe and save myself all of the hassle but we'll see we'll see if it starts getting a bit overwhelming oh that seemed to be a two shot okay yeah some of these are two shotting so i'm gonna switch oh uh, game jesus okay that uh, i got real hectic real fast uh, let's just play it safe stick to the kendall's yeah these kendall's are making light work of this step okay there we go perfect I'm actually speeding through this so yeah like i said we want to try and make our way back to this area of the map as fast as possible because we want the fast spawn so okay perfect that's the end of that round so now we just have one more we got to find it's not that one unfortunately if it's this one it's gonna be absolutely huge oh it's not that sucks it's not here oh no it is here okay i'm a little bit like weary about this spot because it's kind of hit and miss we do have a lot on us though that can help us so obviously we do have these kendalls but if they do run out of ammo which they probably will to be honest because this is like a two minute city com oh my god i was about to say we had gas grenades but i just switched them off for concussion grenades i'm actually such an idiot okay, well my next idea is i do have explosive touch which might be quite helpful i don't know all right we only have 50 seconds left we are like pretty close to running out of kendall ammo so honestly we're just hoping for the best here 30 seconds okay we're out of kendall ammo so i'm gonna pop this uh explosive touch card here and i'm just hoping that all the zombies will touch me before they actually touch the city com which i think it's gonna work boys because it only has six more seconds left so i think we've got it that is actually huge boys kind of sucks though that we um wasted that round at the start because if we didn't we could literally go into the boss fight next round but it's probably not gonna happen because we're gonna have a clown round next round so let's just try and get through this round as fast as possible uh, i didn't actually think there was that many zombies uh, left on this round otherwise i probably would have gone down to the uh bridge near spawn just to speed it up you know what it is what it is boys you live you learn we're not going for a world record or anything boys you know i'm not i'm not him yeah here we go here's the clown round okay perfect that's over that's all give me what i need oh my god he's bro what a, what a clown bro saw me there waiting patiently and he just shut me off what a knob oh now we've got to try and find him around the map oh well, here he is just waiting for him to hurry up because the second he's ready we're ready for the boss fight all right come on hustle we're on to round eight now early you're ready oh my god yes finally okay well i'm pretty much ready just to jump straight into the boss fight so they start our four parts there we go and if 
we interact with one of them, we now just have to wait until the UFS starts doing colors, right? So we go red. And that was blue, yellow, blue, yellow, green, red. Okay, then so blue, yellow, green, and then red. I think. Hello? Did I fail it? Oh, okay. I, I did it again and it somehow worked. So I, I don't know what happened there. You know what? I'm not even complaining. Not even complaining. We could get sub 30 here if I do it right. Okay, so yellow, yellow, red, yellow, red, green. So yellow, red, green, blue. Yellow, red, green, blue. Okay, it's a perfect circle. Ready? Here we go. So yellow, red, green, blue. Oh my god, it's actually too easy, boys. What can I say? I need to be stopped. Okay, so we have to do that one more time. And then there'll be a wave of clowns and it the alien will spawn. Okay, so red, green, red, green, yellow, blue. Okay, not the world's easiest, but we'll go for it. Red, green, yellow, and blue. Perfect, boys. We did it. Okay, so on to the clowns. They will wave at these little clowns that are gonna try and attack me. Little freaks. Honestly, we could do it maybe sub 25 if I'm really quick about it. Actually, nah, because the UFO step could mess us over. So I did mess up. There's a really quick way to kill us, uh, the alien, which I won't be able to do because I forgot to put on the um the unfortunate card, but it should be fine. Okay, here he is. So we just need to keep doing damage to him until he eventually comes to the ground. Oh my god. How am I red screening? Oh my god, he's down. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, I don't think I got it because he... Bro, why would you go down there? That sucks. All right, we're looking at f sub 30, I think. Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. That sucks so bad. Imagine, bro. Imagine we got him on that first melee as well. It would have been over for him. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I, I had reanimated. He used my quick revive, but for some reason, it just gets you up instantly without taking to the, uh, the afterlife arcade. That's the word. All right, we're okay. We're good. Oh my god, we're not good. This is actually getting squeaky, bro. Oh my god, he's down. Right, I'm going for him. Going for him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we just need to like kill him this time. Oh my god, no. Whoa. That was scary. We moved though. We actually moved. Come on, we're at 25 minutes. We literally just need to kill him now. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, quickly hop over here. Okay, head over. Head over. Dude, I literally just need him to head over here. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, here we go. Please hit him. Please hit him. Bro, I cannot believe that. I actually can't believe that. That would have been 26 minutes if we had that. That is heartbreaking. Spaceland is actually brutal to me on this step. It hates me. All right, come on, game. Head over here. It's teasing me, bro. It's actually teasing me. Oh my god, okay, I think we shot it. Oh my god, is it head over? I think it's heading over as well. Oh my god, please. Please. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Bro, this game fucking hates me. Oh my god, it's over it. Please, bro. Please. It's over again. Oh, we got it. Oh my god, boys. 27 minutes. 27 minutes. Holy shit. That's actually so hype. Okay, add 27 minutes to the timer. Oh my god, what a good way to start this off. All right, it's not like a world record. But it's, a, it's a PB, bro. That's for sure. Let's actually go, boys. All right, I'm wasting no time. I'm hopping over to our next map. Right then, boys. So on to Raven the Redwoods. Now, I actually want to sweat up on this map, right? Because I think I can actually get a really good time. I've been watching a lot of speedruns on Infinite Warfare, and it's kind of like the reason I wanted to make this video. Not to say like I'm, I'm like a speedrun or anything, but I actually do think the speedruns of this game are like really interesting. But yeah, I really want to see what kind of time I can get, right? So first things first, we need to build a boat. We've already collected two pieces for it. This is absolutely not the way to go to, you know, actually get to the last piece. But you know, we'll, we'll take it anyways. I'll slow myself down, you know, because I'll get every world record in the world. Top off here. There we go. Nice. And now this Easter egg is actually really easy, right? It's one of the like the easiest Easter eggs I think in this game. Because I kind of regret not doing it for my uh, easiest Easter egg video. Because compared to Space Land, which is one I actually did, like this is way hard. Yeah, we've got all the pieces for the boat. We're not going to be pack punching or anything like that. So we can actually just start making our way straight down to the boat right away. So there we go. Let's hop on the boat. So far, it's been two minutes and 30 seconds, which is kind of like crazy. At least for me, like I think some of the world records get this done in like 50 seconds. But you know, I'm not a speedrunner, right? Like, I don't want the people to think I'm a speedrunner, right? I'm just a normal guy who's watched a few videos. And now I think I'm him. But right, this like, boat ride is actually so long. Like, it gets super long for absolutely no reason, by the way. Uh, I was hoping to kill the last few zombies, but they are actually taking their time. There we go. Let's go ahead and talk to Kevin. And let's just get out of here. Yeah, so the way this easter egg actually works is there's just three challenges you have to do around the map and once you've done the three challenges that's literally it like you just go straight into the boss fight after that so you can get this done pretty quick and that's kind of what i'm hoping for right because i want to make sure i've got as much time on shaolin shuffle and attack of the radioactive thing because those are the two maps that i'm like least familiar with and they take the longest without a doubt because easter eggs both just kind of suck i can't lie but yeah let's just go ahead and make our way down here and start the challenge and now what we've got to do is we've got to shoot the arms off of the zombies it can be kind of difficult because you could hit like a different part of their body and it not count so it's kind of why this thermal comes in kind of huge because it pretty much like tells you exactly where you need to hit. It can still be quite hard though. Like I don't know why sometimes it just does not count, which is like super annoying. You know, it is what it is, boys. Let's just go ahead, try and get through this as fast as possible. Come on, boys. Come on, game. Can you just like hit the arm, please? I, I, we actually didn't get it because it took that long. I say it took long, but it was just me not being able to shoot the arm for some reason. It's not really the arm you have to shoot. It's more like their hand. So let me aim more towards their hand than their arm. Look, I mean, now pretty much every single one of them wants to go in. Like, what is that? It's a very fair game. Going for the world record here. Okay, there we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna spawn in the slasher. I'm just gonna clap him real quick with a smiler. Oh, bro, he's actually gone. This weapon
weapon, by the way, is something you get for just like beating Easter egg. And it absolutely destroys the slasher. So we need to go back on the boat and we need to go talk to Kevin. But before we do that, I want to go over here and quickly pick up this transponder. Now you'll see what I'm going to do with that, you know, like in a hot couple minutes. But yeah, trust me, it's actually really cool and it saves a lot of time. So let me go ahead and quickly get down to the boat. So let's make our way to the island. Any time today, game. Any second now. Actually, the longest boat ride. Honestly, it is. I don't know why they didn't just make it like a fast travel after the first time. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Kevin. And I'm going to go ahead and throw down our transponder right there. Oh my God, okay, it didn't go down. He went back without it. So let's make sure we actually put it down there. Now, what we need to do is we need to go pick up the next part of the picture, which is all the way up by Tough Enough. And before we go there, I'm actually going to pick up this Banshee and we're going to use this in the next step. So pick up the picture, which is here. There we go. And we need to make our way to the rave area. So let's just go ahead and take the zip line. And if we just place the picture down, we're going to use this Banshee to shoot with their feet. And it's basically the same as the last one, except it's their feet we have to shoot, not their, uh, their arms. All right, so let's just keep shooting at their feet and then hope we can get it filled up soon. There we go. Nice. Inspect it. And as soon as we exit rave mode, we'll just go ahead and clap the thrasher real quick. There we go. Pick up the picture frame and we're going to use the transponder to teleport straight back to Kevin. So that's what the transponder was used for. Basically, you can just instantly teleport to Kevin, which is super good. And that should just let us go straight onto the next challenge. So if we just make our way down to where the power was, there should be a school sitting right here. Yeah, there is. So that is perfect. And we'll go ahead and place down the school here. And I also bought this ERAD because of the challenge we need to do this time is we need to get headshots. And I feel like that would have been kind of difficult with the Banshee. So where are all the zombies? Try and get these headshots really quick. I don't think the variant of the ERAD I've got is helping me. It's like a laser beam, but I think it's actually hitting their body sometimes. We should still be good though. Yep. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and inspect with that. And let's go ahead and collapse the thrasher again. Pick up the item. And now we actually don't have to go back to Kevin. We just need to go down to the uh, our area again. Press this button. And then we're actually at the boss fight, boys. We've done it in 14 minutes, which is actually kind of crazy. So as long as everything goes okay in the boss fight, like we should actually get a really good time. Again, that's kind of on the assumption that everything goes okay in the boss fight. Never really know if to be honest, but we're just going to go for it. But Kevin's having an absolute mental breakdown here. He kind of looks like Tim the Tatman. Tim the Tatman's like lost cousin. Now what's good, bro? All right, Kevin, come on, bro. Like just hurry up, right? Just fall in the water. Like, come on, let's get this over and done with. Come on, be a little silly, Billy. Come on. Oh, yep, there he goes. He's stumbling. All right. And, and, there, and there he goes. See you later, little boy. And he's the slasher. Oh my God, boys. Absolutely real crazy stuff. Okay, so here we go. This boss fight is actually quite long though. So it's going to add on a lot of time. This boss, this boss fight is actually probably as long as all of the steps leading up to this, which is kind of crazy. So luckily this uh, Smiler just absolutely destroys zombies. My guns aren't really doing a whole lot. I can't lie. We do need to be careful for Kevin because he's a bit of a beefcake, you know? That's, that's kind of what I look like in real life. You know, just less ugly. You're just an absolute monster. I I'm banned from the gym because I, you know, I was like basically bullying people just by having me stand near them. But yeah, the way this boss fight works is for now, we just need to fill up these like soul chest thingies. Ooh, don't kill me. Oh my God, how's that down there? Well, that's actually unbelievable. Okay, but basically that thing is now all filled up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me a max ammo here. And we need to lead Kevin all the way down here. So come on, Kevin, hurry up. Bro, are you serious? Just step in the circle, bro. All right, there we go. Oh my God, how am I res screen? Basically what we got to do now is we just need to start damaging Kevin, all right? Start teaching this little boy a lesson. I'm also going to whack on evade because it'll let us like teleport around the arena and help us dodge a lot more. Oh my God, I, 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 like this is why I need it, all right? Because I just nearly got one top there. But we just need to keep shooting him. I think we need to hit like a total of like eight shots, but he's only available to hit after he does an attack. So, like now. Oh, okay, I think we got him. Oh yeah, Kevin's a little bit upset. He's a little bit grumpy. So now pretty much we got to stand in these like little green circle thingies and we just need to survive, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem because we need like little skeletons. It's not even that strong to be honest. So we could just sit here and hold, <laughs> hold the right mouse button and just never die. This smile is actually so OP. I can't even lie. Okay, so there we go. Nice. That is the first phase. It's not over just yet, boys. As we do need to pretty much repeat what we just did like a few more times. But this time there's a few things that block us. So we do need to be a bit careful not to get caught. Grab this max ammo. Let's just go to town, boys. The only person we got to worry about is Kevin because if we're not careful. He will actually just dome us. It's okay, so a perfect. That's done. The circle should appear on the floor right here and we just need to get Kevin to come over to us. So come on, Kevin, hurry up. Ain't got all day for you. And there we go. So that takes him out of his form. And now we just got to do what we did last time to him. But basically every time he does an attack, we just got to shoot him so it does some damage to him. It's just whenever the uh, symbol appears on his body, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully he doesn't need to take too many more shots. Oh, okay. I think he's done. Actually, huge boys. Just got to be careful the souls on the ground because they will just destroy me if I'm not careful. But let's just go ahead and get in this green circle again. And I believe it should just be the same where we just, yeah, we just sit in this corner holding R1. Oh, and there we go, boys. So that is phase two over with. All right. So I think this is the last time we actually have to do this. So let's just get the uh, kills again. Luckily, this Smiler is still just as OP as always. So there is one of them done. On course, this is a lot more difficult because there's like five of them you have to do. It's actually crazy, but on solo, it's actually like super easy. You need to grab and just max ammo really quick though. Now, Kevin is here. We've just got to be careful of him. Again, we do have the evadeability, so should make this a lot easier. Hopefully, we're nearly done. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So, where's the circle? The circle's down here. So, let's get him to come over here. Is he going to have to take long way around? He's actually having to take long way around. What an absolute clown. Okay, there we go. All right, he's in the circle. And now, we just need to shoot him a few more times. And then that will literally be uh, Easter egg complete. So, we could get 30 minutes 
here. Oh my god. Let's not die here. Kind of tempted just to wipe out all the zombies so we don't have to deal with them. So it's just me and Kevin now. Just keep doing damage to him. Oh, okay. I think we got him. Oh, okay. I thought we had him. I actually think we're at the end. So I'm, I'm just going to pop the uh, the claw hobble gone. And we're just going to go into him real quick. Yeah. Okay. No, we did it. Bro, let's go. Bro, it's actually huge. It only took us 27 minutes. That's actually crazy. Right? As soon as the uh, cutscene starts playing, we'll uh, end the timer. Oh, no. We need to pick up the soul key. There we go, boys. So 28 minutes. That's actually crazy, bro. We did that so fast. All right. We'll go ahead and add 28 minutes to the timer. And I guess let's just move on to our next bab. All right, then, boys. So on to Shaolin Shuffle. Now, this is kind of where Infinite Warfare Zombies gets a bit rough, all right? Because this and the next map, the Easter egg form just kind of suck, all right? I can't even lie. You know what, boys? We need to do the Easter egg, so no whining. Let's just get on with it, all right? So we can't really do a whole lot until like round five. Well, I mean, at least according to this guide I'm reading. So I guess we'll just like power through some rounds and we'll just open up the whole map. I'm not gonna lie. I know I said no whining, but like I'm actually just dreading this Easter egg. There's just so many steps and they're so like random that, uh, that like they're not like fun. But at least with Director's Cut, I can just like open up every part of the map real speedy like so it's not too bad turn on this power switch here okay and the final power switch is just down here so go ahead and turn that on so that's the entire map opened up real quick like that you know i'm actually sonic boys lightning mcqueen but for the zombies community you guys just don't know me yet so what we need to do is we need to wait for pam over here to like give us our little dojo like kung fu stuff but yeah she won't do that until i think the special round or at least round five so we're gonna have to wait but it's other things i can be getting on with such as also i went ahead and bought me this katana this thing is actually like bad boys yeah i feel like the teenage mutant ninja Holes, right? Dream is scared of me. <laughs> if you know what I'm on about, then you know what I'm on about, boys. So we need to collect a few parts uh, in order to open up a punch. Now, they shouldn't be too hard to find, but that entirely depends if it spawns in a location that I just have, like, no clue about. Also, here's the flyer that we need. So the other two things we need is we need a token, and we also need, like, a film reel. Now, the token will always spawn underneath Tough Enough right there. Oh, okay, so it's round five, which means after this, we can go ahead and get the, uh, the Kung Fu. I'm also trying to find this film reel, but I just can't find it. Okay, so that's the end of round five. So we need to go get our Kung Fu from a Pam, but I just want to get this film reel and I think there's only one location it can be in and it's right here. That's actually the, like so annoying, but I checked every other lo like location and it wasn't there. That is crazy. Alright, well either way we can go ahead and open up this door, put the film reel in here and then that's pack a bunch uh, open. So let's go ahead and grab our Kung Fu from Pam and then we do need to upgrade it I think to at least level 2. So we're gonna need to get a few kills. So try not to kill any zombies this round. So what's good Pam? Are you gonna give me my Kung Fu? Yeah, right boys. Which one are I picking, right? Tiger, Crane, Snake or Dragon? I'm gonna go Dragon, alright? I've got that beast in me, in it. Okay, so we go ahead and pop this. There's actually so many zombies. What the hell? Go back away. Go back away. Yeah, that's right. Get locked. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. my god. We're actually so close to dying. All right, so we got it to level two. It's after talking to Pam, he's like little rat spawns. And we just need to follow this rat around and just keep breaking his cage whenever, you know, he like stops moving. Now, I won't even lie. I love this rat. He's actually such a legend. Yeah, like, look at the way he goes downstairs, bro. Like, what a, <laughs> what a king, bro. Actually, so low effort, but I love it. All right, let's go ahead and break that cage. We need to do this nine times, by the way. Oh my god, I'm actually about to die, bro. Because that was rat is so slow, bro. Like, Speed up, bro. Hang on, Dave, you. All right, which cage is he going to? What he wants to go to one of the furthest cages away, which is all the way up here. Okay, he wants to go in that one. All right, he's off. Oh my god, he's actually going back down this way. Where's he going? Okay, he's going in that cage. Oh, I missed. Are you see? Oh, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna have to go around uh, so we can get our chi ability back or our kung fu. But we know he's in this cage right here. Like, look at this little boy. I oh, was good, my man's. Yo, bro, he's chilling, bro. He's a rat. All right, let's go ahead and break the cage. He's on the move again. Where's he off to? I actually don't know. I don't know why I didn't just wait until the end of the round and save a zombie. You'd think I would have learned my mistake from last time, but I. I just didn't. I actually never do. I'm not like Tony Stark. All right, which case is he going to? I think he's going to this one just over here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get him out of there. Oh my god, he's actually going this way. Oh shit, which way did the rat go? Oh, I see him. I actually thought I lost Mr. Rat for a second. That actually scared me. What would I do without my favorite little rat? I think he's actually going to a, like a really far away cage again, which is kind of annoying. He has any cage he could go to when he chooses he wants to go to, you know, the one that's actually like the furthest distance. Oh no, he's going in here. Where's he going in here for? Where are you going? He just wants to make, pay a visit or whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try and take out a few of these zombies because, you know, they are becoming a little bit hard to deal with. I don't actually know how many locations I've actually done with this rat yet. Oh, okay. We, we just finished it. Okay. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna die here because the melee in this game sucks. Oh my god. Alright, you didn't see that. You guys did not just see me die there. I actually never die, boys. I've got, I've got all my stuff back. Like I never left. Like I never left. Now have I already been recording for 17 minutes? Nearly 18 minutes, bro. This Easter egg is taking long. Yeah, I should probably explain what I gotta do, by the way. It's okay. Yeah, I just need to like get kills in this circle. And then eventually, after enough kills, uh, it should disappear. There we go. Alright, circles disappeared. Now I think a bunch of ninjas are gonna spawn. Already say should spawn. I don't know whether Rat. Oh, no, here they are. Yeah, I gotta be careful, right? Because these ninjas are kind of OP. Oh my god. Oh, you're back away. Oh, go away, ninja. There's enough movement here. You don't need to be around here. All right, well, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and pick up this key. But ninjas are actually scary, bro. I'm not a fan, all right? No way, Jose. Okay, so we need to take this key uh, and bring it over to this locker right here and open this up. Now, what does this mean here? I actually have no idea. But basically, we need to shoot these like Chinese symbols around the map in a certain order. So, just gonna go ahead and head
far left one and then the middle one and then that should mean we're able to fight the uh, rat king just over here yeah so uh, do you think i'm ready to go for it i could just make my life so much easier if i just go ahead and like quickly pack a punch so uh, i'm gonna go do that real quick it's literally just up here anyway so it's not like it's like a massive uh, distance or anything all right there you go boys we've got the baby's breath dream's favorite weapon here okay so let's go ahead and start up this is the rat king thinks he's him he's actually trying to scrap but you know i'm not gonna allow it I don't know how good this thing's actually gonna be against him because this boy is kind of tanky i can't lie but i think it should make some like light work of him to be honest oh and we're out of ammo okay that's not good oh, how did i just down there well i'm up we'll see you later alligator okay i need to re-get back quick arrive like asap bro i usually don't struggle with the rat king i thought the baby's breath would deal with him but it just didn't bro why is that ninjas yo back away i guess we'll get this udm and try and go to town imagine if this was the secret we needed all along i think this is gonna absolutely dome them i'll be honest it, it currently doesn't feel like it's doing a whole lot there's more ninjas bro all right you know what if all else fails me i'm pulling out the kung fu oh is he gone oh he's just summoning more of ninjas okay oh is he gone oh my god he's finally gone jesus it took him ages like i knew he was tanky but I think he was that tanky all right well either way he drops the uh rat eye oh and i just popped hide and seek that's 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 sick boys all right so basically if we use our tactical equipment i uh, use the rat eye and basically we now need to go around the map and try and find these symbols now there's six symbols around the map and there's like oh god i can't remember there's, there's too many locations right the first one's actually over there i actually can't believe we managed to find that that quick yeah there's 13 locations and only one spawns at a time so every time it's not in a location once i do find the symbol i've got to come all the way back to find it which is a little bit annoying and it is a little bit tedious but you know what it is what it is so it could be one just behind this drum set nope it's not one there i think this is definitely gonna be one of the longer parts of this easter egg just trying to find all the symbols especially on solo like on two player or whatever or with a with like a four-man squad it isn't as bad yeah on solo it's a little bit of a pain oh okay there it is of course it was the very last location i had to check oh okay there it is i think we shot three so far so we've only got three more to find i have just remembered what the next step uh, actually is and boys i'm not looking forward to it most of these steps are just annoying because it's on solo you see that kind of seems to be a trend with uh the infinite warfare easter eggs to be honest this step could be improved so much if it just had like an audio indicator that you're kind of like, kind of, like in the right area you know i guess that would have been too nice for the players i'm actually really struggling to find this next one just doesn't seem to be popping up anywhere for us i can't lie i'm so lost and i've already been going for 40 minutes or i literally checked here a million times now i'm out of ammo i, I literally checked that so many times how was it up there actual rat behavior all right let's just try and speed run through the last few of these symbols actually try and get like a like a semi-decent time on this map all right there's another one actually so i think we're missing one more symbol all right there it is okay perfect i know we completed because i can hear the phone ringing so this next step requires us to do morse code okay so this is just spit some morse code at me i don't even know how i'm gonna translate that i've written down what i thought i heard but that could just be like completely wrong okay so i think we've got seven i actually have no idea i think it just starts with a seven so i can go ahead and re-listen to it i suppose or it could actually just be this oh my god that point i found it i'm actually a genius what can i say at least i didn't have to go around the whole map trying to look for like the right booster so we got kind of lucky with that but now what we've got to do is we're going to come up here place the poster we just got right here and then we just need to throw a grenade into this window which is making more ninjas spawn bro yo i don't want to mess around with you guys oh my god there's actually so many ninjas oh my god go away okay there we go so now we've got to spell out a word and oh, okay our word starts with the letter n okay that oh, is, ah, this, this isn't good so basically our words could be new york nightfall or nunchuck so if i shoot that one let's put it to, okay boys it's not looking good for me bro okay but that basically tells me it's nightfall so i need to shoot the remaining letters because if you guys didn't know all of these symbols correlate to like different letters and yeah right, i've got to go around look at each symbol trying to find the right one so it's this one here it's gonna be like a weird looking t so where is that it's right there it's that one there it's, i think it's that one there okay so it's like ss which is that one there there we go like a backwards ss i believe it's just this one there and then it should just be the same letter again which is right there and then that should finish it oh there you go boy so we spot nightfall now, i think that means we're on to the second rat king uh, boss fight so i'm gonna go double pack my uh, baby's breath here and then we'll go ahead and take him out i mean yeah i guess we'll just go like just go clap him real quick so there we go let's go ahead and double pack a bunch of our kendals and you know what i'll actually go ahead and i'll pack a bunch of the sword and i'll pop coupon clipper here which makes my next purchase free and i can pack a bunch of it again so we do have eight seconds bro this thing has to hurry up all right four three two oh my god that was so close but they got right, pretty snacked up now i'm actually feeling confident right this racking is not gonna last it's actually about to get done bro so here it is go ahead and start the boss fight now what he doesn't realize right is i've got the power out i'm the main character all right he's gonna get clapped by my little bear sword and when i pull out these dual wield kendals he's not even ready for him bro we're actually doming this little boy not in a weird way but oh yeah he's gone he's dead actually didn't even stand a chance okay now we need to go talk to pam now i want to speed run through these last few steps as easter egg all right so now we gotta go through like two rounds well it's, it's actually three if we had a skate around apparently which we just got so we're gonna be so extra like that i guess we'll just chill in here we're actually not that far away from the end of the easter egg there is some like annoying steps but i think we should be fine actually i'm gonna try and get myself a better weapon uh for like my third weapon like not this udm and i think the rpi here should just do the trick it should just help with like steps later 
later on. So actually three boys. All right, so I'm not sure if it's going to happen this round or like next round. I guess we're about to find out. So waiting for the cheeky little jump scare, to be honest. Oh my God, that actually scared me, bro. I, I, I don't know why it scares me every time, bro. Actual jump scare, bro. But yeah, basically I was going to throw us onto round 16 now because, you know, you can't do a C-strike on a low round. Game just doesn't let you. We need to pick up this thing here. And then we just need to come down here and repair this here. Then we need to come all the way over here and climb this ladder real slow. And we just need to shoot the symbol that appears in that window. So yeah, but now there's going to be glowing rings on the floor and we just need to get kills numb. And yeah, I mean, pretty easy steps. I can't lie. I'm actually still annoyed that I got jump scared though. Actually, like, I, bro, I hate being jump scared, bro. Because like, it's not scary. It just catches me off guard, right? And then I feel like a massive pussy afterwards. Now I'm not, right? I'm a beefcake. I'm swole like that. Okay, there you go. So there's one of them. There's still four more we need to complete. So I just need to go around the map until I find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so there's a second one done. Okay, here's our next one. It's already been an hour. So I'm still hoping we can get this done in like a decent amount of time. But honestly, I don't even know, boys. We are like very close to the end of the Easter egg though, to be fair. Okay, but here's our, our last one, I think it is. Okay, so that one's done. I think there's one more I need to do. All right, so here's our final circle. So let's just go ahead and fill this up. And then we're on to, again, another really annoying step. Oh, and of course, we've got a uh, roller skate zombie round. I think these guys can fill up the um, circle. Yep, okay, nice. Oh my God, okay. So I just realized there's actually another circle we have to do, even though that this thing says a total of five times, but then, you know, in brackets has to say not including the circle to begin the step. Like, bro, just, just say six times. Why you gotta be so extra and say, oh no, five times plus one. Like, bro, wh why are you doing that? That's actually the one thing that just annoys me about guides. There is no need to be pulling that. All right, well, here's the final circle. Let's just go ahead and fill it up. There we go. Okay, now we still might be able to do this step uh, this round. So basically what we've got to do, we need to come over here to like this DJ area and interact with it. And that'll cause this zombie to start like having a little boogie down the dance floor. And we kind of just need to play like hot potato, right? So we need to gather up a bunch of zombies here onto the dance floor. And essentially whenever we kill this one with the, oh my God, okay, let, let me do this when I'm not about to die. As I was saying, we kill the zombie with the disco ball. It's going to go to a different zombie and we just need to keep killing that zombie while there's zombies on the dance. Oh my God. Game, you're, you're really pushing me here, game. You're actually really pushing me here. It's because it skips you like four rounds ahead. Like why does it have to do that? Some of the stuff in this Easter egg is actually just so annoying. But either way, let's go ahead and rebuy back our uh, RPR or whatever it was called. I can't remember now. And we'll just pack on shit. I think we can pack on it twice actually. So there we go. At least now we'll actually have like weapons to kill the zombies with because those zombies will just not die into this. And I think this is our final time we can buy up and atoms. I can't lie. Unless it's different on director's cut. I'm hoping it is, but we'll see. I'm actually just so ready to get off this map. I'm hoping we can have it done in like the next like 15 minutes, but I'm uh, I'm really doubting it, you know. All right, then, so let's try this again. All right, so basically, get a kill. There's no zombies on the dance floor. Come on, boys. There we go. Get another kill. Get another kill. Another kill. Another kill. Kill him again. Just keep going, boys. Just keep going. Oh my god, we did it. Thank the lord. I actually hate that step so much. I think that means we got one last Rat King boss fight to do. And after we do this uh, final Rat King boss fight, we actually have to fight him like for real. All right, here he is. Let's go ahead and clap him up. I think our RPR will actually like boom him. So I don't think explosives do that much damage. So, oh my god. Just keep using our sword. You know, keep a bit of a distance. Keep using our RPR if we can. This thing has so much ammo in it, by the way. Actually crazy. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let me go ahead and pick that up. Now, I'm not even going to bother wasting time. I'm just going to go straight into the boss fight because we're pretty much ready. Oh my god. Ninja spawned in my face, bro. Like, go away. I think now that we're in here, the boss fight should just start and that's going to like end the round while being in here. Oh, never mind. We've got to speak to Pam, bro. Of course, we got to speak to Pam. Always catches me off guard, by the way, because after only some steps, by the way, it's not every step, only after some steps, you've got to come and speak to Pam. Just super annoying. This Easter egg just sucks, right? I can't even lie. Like, it's definitely like my least favorite Easter egg on this game. But here we go. As you guys can see, the boss fight's about to start. We have to go against this little rat boy, rat king, the ultimate rat. So if I remember correctly, the boss fight actually isn't that bad. It's quite simple. Basically, it just starts off. You got to do a load of damage to him so we can move on to his next stage. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now we've got to pick one of his trials. I guess we'll just do like the heart one, I guess. Okay, this one's actually quite simple. I can't lie. Basically, all you got to do is just get kills in the uh, the acid over here and the acid will start clearing uh, and we just need to do this really fast around the entire room. We need to be like super fast and it's not helping that the zombies are actually taking about seven years to make that way over to me. Oh my God. Okay, I don't really know how much more we've got. There we go. I think this might be the last one. Is that it? Oh no, they're all respawning. What do you mean they're all respawning? Probably doesn't help. We're kind of running low on ammo as well. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh my God, we're actually about to lie though. The step really isn't that bad. Uh, Pam's down here. She wants to come in and like cop some zombies for me, which is fine. You know, I'll take that. Some extra help, you know. Oh my God, we got the ninja zombies. Oh, back away, bro. Back away. Okay, let's just try and get this Rat King to the next stage. Bro's actually trying to be different. Like, just go away. Okay, there you go. Nice. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know which one to do next. I know this one's actually quite easy. Oh, actually, wait, no, I think this is the eye one. Okay, this one's actually quite difficult. Never mind. Basically, we've got to pop the eye and try and take out all the symbols, but there's like, there's loads of them, bro. Okay, where's the last few symbols? Oh, come on, because I think they're all going to respawn, bro. Hey, where are the symbols at? I, I actually don't see them. Okay, we did it. That was actually super easy. What the hell? Usually, I remember that being a lot more harder. That was free. That was honestly free. Yeah, I'm going to pop this trap and I'm just waiting for the Rat King to show up again. There he is. All right, come on, little boy. We're messing him up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cow behind your shield. Yeah, cow behind your shield. You don't know the damage that I'm about to do to you.
Oh, how am I so low? What happened? Oh, okay, it's gone already. Okay, nice. So basically, this one's like super easy, by the way. Like, this one's actually really easy. Basically, there's a blue heart, and we just need to defend the blue uh, heart zombies from uh, getting attacked by the Rat King. But to be honest, you can kind of just like let the Rat King do whatever, and nothing ever really happens to the heart. Eventually, it will get destroyed. It just takes a while. So it's kind of just a waiting game until the step's complete. Now, the issue is, right, is the only guns I've already got is my Kendall and my sword, because this gun is out of ammo. But the issue that is, is that if I try to attack the Rat King, I start attacking the, the good zombies. So I think I've just literally got to wait. Oh, okay, we did it. Okay, so all this means now is we just need to clap the Rat King. And I wonder if I pop Ego Trip, which is extra uh, headshot damage, and I just spray this little rat in the head. How quick will he just get destroyed? I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, to be honest. Oh my god, just these ninja zombies, bro. That's your rat. Come on, let's take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Go, 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 da, 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 da. Just die already, bro. Oh my god, there we go. Finally, boys. That Easter egg still sucks, honestly. All right, well, either way, it took us an hour and 25. It could have been done so much quicker. Just so many things screwed me over during that. But you know what? It is what it is, boys. Go ahead and add one hour 25 to the timer. And other than that, let's just go ahead and move on to our next map. All right, boys. So on to attack at the radioactive thing. Now, I haven't done this Easter egg in quite a while. And it is quite complex. So I wonder if this will take me a while. But, you know, we'll see. So let's make a start by just getting power on. And then we'll go from there. Now, the thing that's incredibly annoying about this Easter egg is just how many parts there are to collect, right? Like, let me open up this hatchback. You have to collect parts for everything at the bottom. You kind of can't really tell compared to like a Treyarch uh, UI, but it's a lot. Okay. So first things first, let me go ahead and pick up this power handle. And I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over here all the way to Elvira. And she's just in here. So let me go ahead and talk to her. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way back down to where we turn on the power. And we also need to go ahead and get Elvira's spell book. And that will let us get uh, the vial, which will let us get uh, pack a bunch. So there we go. That is the power switch on. And then if I just make my way in here, we can pick up Elvira's spell book. So let's give her back her spell book. There we go. Now that's actually really good. Hey, I wish Elvira would actually just stop talking, bro. Like she just talks for so long. It actually takes ages, but there you go. She's finally given us the vial. And now we need to get kills and then that will start filling it up. So while I'm here, I'm also going to head and go with this uh, M number, which is one. And if I just put it into this little website I've got right here, we can actually figure this out early because this website I found pretty much just skips like a major like step later on, which is huge. So if I go ahead and change this to red, you just need to go out here and grab these numbers, which aren't actually on here. So that actually narrows it down even more. So there's only two numbers it could be for our own number. We have a seven and one. Oh, okay, perfect. So, so basically I have a list of like six of these like type of things on here. And if any of them match the top one, and that's the correct color. So I know that our color is going to be green. And our O number should be 11. So that's going to skip a major step later on. And it's going to be confusing at first if you don't know this Easter egg. But when I do get to that step, I'll explain it and how it just like skips like a massive like portion of it. Also, that thing I just picked up is one of the many collectibles I need to get. So I guess while I fill up the vial, that I can get to work on collecting all of the uh, body parts around the map. So there's one in here. There's another body part just in this tree. Don't ask how it got in the tree, uh, but there it is. We got the leg. We can also get ourselves another part by picking up this box here and then install it onto this control box and activating the trap. And basically, that will freeze up pig carcass there. And then when we get another melee weapon later on, uh, we can destroy that and then pick up the torso. So what we can also do is start building the seismic wave generator, which all the parts are kind of just in this area. So just quickly go ahead and grab the last part, which is just here. And if I just go ahead and take that, I can go ahead and use the seismic wave generator here. And bro, this thing is actually telling the beach, did you pray today? Because it is actually about to dig them down on some gangster shit. There you go. There's our next part. Yeah, that gave us the uh, arm. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed myself the crowbar as well so I can get myself the uh, torso. But we also filled up the vial. So I can go ahead and also get another piece of the body, which is the head, and open up pack a punch. So, so if Elvira will come and follow me, just take her over here. She's killing zombies, bro. Like, can you hurry up? Elvira, seriously, bro. Please. Oh my God, why are you in the round? Okay, so she's going to open up a portal right here. Don't ask me how Elvira does it. She just does. And obviously, I can come in here. I can actually pack a bunch of weapon while I'm here. I might as well get me the upgraded candles because they're actually really good. I can also go ahead and press this button here. If I leave, I'll let me pick up the head. And I can also quickly pick up the uh, mirror. And that's everything I need to do with Alvira. And now that we've got the crowbar, we can actually go ahead and get a bunch of other parts around the map. So the first one I'll go ahead and grab is this glass shard here. And also grab this uh, mirror of the car. So game, game, give me that, please. Game, there we go. Also grab me the torso piece. And I guess while I'm here, actually, I'm also going to go ahead and grab this uh, four digit code since we need that for a later step. We're actually smoothing through this Easter egg. Like it's only been 16, or oh, it's probably hit 17 minutes. We've actually done quite a lot. Oh, I can actually do a step now. So basically that four digit code thing I got, it basically is split up into eight, four, seven, six, right? And then there's four of these little like gauge thingies around the map. And I need to set all of them to one of those numbers, right? So I set that one to four. So now the remaining numbers I can set the others to is eight, seven, and six. So I'm going to quickly make my way in here. I'm going to set that one to eight. There's another one here, which I'll go ahead and set to seven. And the last one we need to set is to six, but I actually can't remember where it is, which isn't good. Actually, I do. It's behind the power station. I'm a lion, boys. You know, I keep the suspense up. All right, so there we go. So I actually don't know why we need 
need to do that. But I just know you need to do it for the Easter egg. So boys, it's actually better just not to question it. So now we actually just need to go through a few rounds because we need a zombie that's got like a green glow to it. Oh, we also got the wonder weapon. That's actually huge. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got one of the zombies we need. So if I go ahead and kill him, uh, I didn't I didn't get the piece I needed. Do I need to kill him with the cleaver? That might be what I need to do. All right, let me go ahead and get the uh, cleaver here. And if I kill him, will he drop his leg? Yeah, there we go. Perfect, boys. So we have everything we need to now move on to the next step. Now, I'm not going to lie. This next step is actually just like not it on solo. See, on co-op, it's not too bad, right? Because we'll just have one zo uh, guy like train a zombie and then someone like work on the next step. But the issue with this is obviously on solo, you've got to do this whole next step like on your own, right? So let me try and explain to what, what we need to do. All right, so let me try and explain to you guys what we need to do. So basically, we picked up a punch card in there. We placed three mirrors down in here. I'm going to place all the zombie parts on there, right? So now what we've got to do is we need to trial and error this code. And basically, we need to start getting the code. So the first digit is actually five. So now what I've got to do is I've got to be like five. Is it six? No. Is it eight? No. Is it three? No. Okay. So I've got to keep doing that until I eventually get the right code. Again, all right, it becomes a pain when you've got zombies on you all attacking you. Oh, here we go. Five, four. Yeah, basically, I've just got to try and error until I get this code. So also, when the zombie hits you, by the way, it like pulls you out of the menu, which is even more annoying. All right, one thing I do have that will be quite helpful is I have hide and seek, which basically makes me inv uh, invisible to zombies. Okay, five, four, six. Oh my God, and my hide and seek's over. So oh, three. We're slowly making progress on it. Okay, I think at the end of this round, we'll be able to enter in the right code. It's just so hard to hit the number you need because especially when you've got your FOV set quite high, like bro, like it's actually, you gotta be so specific. Okay, let's go for it boys. All right, so five, four, six, three, eight. There we go, perfect. Now what that's gonna do is that's gonna turn him into an actual zombie. And now this is where it gets kind of annoying, right? So we now need to redo that code, but backwards. Now it's annoying, but it's not as bad. Cause at least like I know what the, oh my God, there's a big guy. All right, as I was saying, at least I know what the code is gonna be, right? I don't need to like trial and error guesses. So yeah, it's not as bad. All right, so we got ourselves a nuke. Let me go ahead and try going for it now. So we need to start off with eight, three. Oh my God, messed it up. Oh dude, now the zombies is one. This step just sucks, bro. It just sucks on solo. This Easter egg is like one of my least favorites. I can't even lie. Like it's just so over the top, like complicated. And it's like not very good for solo plays either. I'm not the biggest fan, but oh my God. Uh, we got it, we got it. Please say we got that. Oh my God. And that's another thing that's really annoying, by the way, is you'll get the code right, but you have to let the animation end. You can't just like back out or get hit by a zombie because it cancels out what you just did, which is so stupid. It is unreal. Cause I just did it correct there, right? But it didn't count because I got hit by a zombie. Oh my God, I got it again, but I got hit by another zombie. Oh, bro. All right, let's see. Please, please get me out of here. Oh my God, I think we did it. Did we actually not do it? Are you serious? There's no way. I actually refuse to believe. Oh my God, I'm actually, I'm also like this close to dying. There's actually no way that didn't count. Surely. Oh my God, it did. Thank God. I was going to say. Yeah, what that does is that gives us a key which we can use to open up a garage. And we're actually not too far away from being done with this Easter egg. While I'm here, I'm going to use this battery on this radio. Now, it should tell me the formula I need to make uh, for the step later on. So, I've got to have a listen out here. Okay, so I think the formula we need to make is 3, 4, I, nitro, something, methyl, propane. All right, so yeah, I actually, I just nailed that, boys. What can I say? But yeah, so this like little formula thing here tells me exactly what I need to get. So basically, I need to get vodka, which can be found over here. Actually, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. I haven't even picked up the last few parts yet. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and open up this. Give us some Walter White, like, meth building lab. Now, we actually need to go get the pieces so we can actually start combining the uh, things we need. I've actually not collected that much stuff. So also, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Uh, and we need to remember that code. So I'm actually going to write that down. Okay, let me go ahead and grab this piece here. Should just be another piece up here, boys. I mean, can you guys see it? I actually don't know where it is. And then I think this is actually our final piece right here. So, or at least for like actually building the uh, chemistry set. There's still one more final piece we need to collect, which is all the way over here, which I should have just grabbed while I was over here, but I wanted to make the whole thing like kind of make a bit more sense. Even though this Easter egg is already convoluted, I wanted to try and make my own little no-nonsense guide for it, uh, but it still came out sounding like nonsense. Sorry, Mr. Rock Waffles, you're actually going to be so disappointed in me. Yeah, here's the final piece. Let's go ahead and grab that. And now we're actually coming up to the final step before we uh, are at the boss fight. So, okay, so now that I've finally done all of that, make my chemistry set, add my vodka, and the next thing we need to get is pennies, which I think I can actually just get right over here. So the next thing we need to get is pennies, which I need the crowbar for. So I need to make my way all the way back over here and grab me the crowbar. I thought I had it, but I guess I now have the cleaver again. I oh yeah, because I need to get that piece for the body part, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the crowbar. And then what we got to do is we got to come to this catch register and hit it with the crowbar. And then that gives us pennies. So we'll go ahead and add that to the little formula set thing over here. Now this thing does all the maths for me. I don't even know how to explain it, but basically I need to enter in the number 12 and then start the reaction. Then that'll give me whatever this is. Yeah, then we need to make another one. So I need to get quarters. So I'll go ahead and add that down there. We need racing fuel, which is apparently just outside the garage right here. That's not it. This is the racing fuel. So I'll go ahead and add that. And then I need to enter in the numbers 15. And uh, if I start the reaction for that, it should make whatever that is. So then I need to add both of these things together plus detergent. And I think detergent is found like just here. Yep, there we go. So I'll go ahead and put that down there. 
there. I should probably get down to one zombie. Actually, I don't need to do that. I'm actually a, I'm a little bad boy. So enter in 17. And that'll make this sludge thingy. And we just need to combine that with nail polish remover, which is on the desk all the way over here. And then that'll give us our uh, free fall dio nitro methyl propane thingy majig that I can't pronounce because I'm not a little geek like that. So where is it? Is this it? There we go. And then we're actually at the boss fight. We just need to get set up and like with our guns and stuff. And yeah, we're actually all ready to go. And we've done this all in 40 minutes. So if we're like really quick with it, it could be sub one hour. Yeah, there it is. There's the compound we need to collect. So I'll go ahead and actually, I don't know if I put that on the bomb. It's going to start the boss fight. So I'm going to wait. So we're actually pretty much set up. There's not a whole lot of like preparation we actually need to make. I will go ahead and upgrade this mat. So I'll go ahead and pick up all the parts from the map. And I'm also going to double pack punch the handles here. And to be honest, I think I'm actually ready to go. So I'll go ahead and grab this part. And then here is the final part for the mat. Now we just need to upgrade. It's actually crazy how much this website has like helped me do this uh, entire Easter egg. If you do want the uh, website, let me know in the comments and I'll link it to you guys. Because it's actually like really helpful. And then, so let's go ahead and get our way in here. Pack a bunch of the Kendalls. And I also got this VPR out of the box, which I can also double pack a bunch. And yeah, I think we're actually ready to go, boys. So let's go ahead and put in the compound and let's get into this boss fight. All right, and so I've gotten all of my guns. But that code definitely written down. Okay, so I thought I could just put it on there, but it's not letting me, which is usually a bad thing. It usually means that I haven't actually made the right compound, which isn't good. All right, I need to wait for this tape to rewind so I can actually figure out what the right one I need to make is. Okay, so the only other one that it could be is... So the only other one it could be is 3-methyl-2,4-dinitrobenzene. So I guess I can go make that and just see if it does it. I just can't believe it's not this. All right, I'm not going to go ahead and like do what I did last time and say where I got all the parts. Or whatever. I'm just going to make the final compound. Oh, okay. So I've started the boss fight, boys. I didn't mean to start the boss fight, but we're starting it. All right, here we go, boys. So first things first, we've got to go ahead and try and not die here, hopefully. We need to take this bomb all the way down to the uh, like front of the beach, okay? So, so this thing is just taking its time to get over here, but we're somehow making it work. I think this boss fight is actually going to be kind of difficult on solo. I can't lie. It's mainly just for one part of the boss fight, but you'll see what I'm on about when we get there. Oh my god. Oh my god, this thing is not happy with me. Oh my god. All right, we're nearly there. Okay, and here we go. I think I should now... Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's going to launch the nuke into the radioactive thing. And now this is the step where I think it's going to be a bit of a pain on solo because I've got to use these death ray cannons to shoot the radioactive thing. But obviously, the zombies can still go for me. So it's like, it's, you know, a little bit unfair. Again, all right, we'll just make it work. It opens up quite a bit. So here yeah, we've hit three shots on him so far. Uh, I don't really know how many shots we need to put into him. Surely three wasn't enough. Oh, wait, three was enough. Oh, wait, okay, that actually was not that bad on solo. Okay, so I got to go ahead and hold F here. Now that's going to start the sequence where it's going to push me to the back of the beach. So all I've got to do now is just survive. Okay, he's slowly pushing us back. This step actually takes forever. Okay, shooting degree balls. Let's go ahead and shoot those. No crabs are coming to me. I'm protected like that. Okay, perfect. All right, so I don't think there's much longer uh, until we're actually onto like the very final phase of the boss fight. All right, I think this is it. Is the lasers going to appear? Perfect. All right, here we go, boys. So basically, there's a little parkour section here, which I need to try and make sure I don't die on. And I got to make my way all the way over here and press F here. Okay, perfect. Now, this is the part that really matters, right? Do you guys remember when I had to enter those numbers in? That really annoying thing. I've got to do it again, right? And I've got to enter in 61285. 61288. Oh my god, this is it, boys. Oh, we did it, boys. Let's go. That's literally it, boys. That is the boss fight. We did it. It's actually so loud, though. Holy. Okay, I guess I can just pause the boss fight, uh, the cutscene. I didn't realize I could do that. But, boys, it took us an hour and 10 minutes. That actually took so long. But it could have been under an hour if, if I just made the right formula from the start. So it's a little bit annoying, but you know what? One hour 10, I'll take that for solo. So, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and move on to our final Infinite Warfare map, which is Beast from Beyond. All right, then, boys. So, on to our final map, we have Beast from Beyond. Now, we have exactly 30 minutes to complete this Easter egg, just to get all of these Easter eggs in under four hours. And honestly, I feel kind of good for it. This Easter egg really isn't that difficult. And honestly, there's not that many steps. So yeah, I think as long as we're quick with it, we should be fine. So the first step is we need to give Neil back his head because, you know, the silly little Billy somehow lost it. So game, are you going to please let me give back the head? There we go. And then once we've done that, we just need to come over here and stand on this red dot. And what that'll do is it'll start a little like sequence where we have to stay in this circle or that red school there rises to the top. And what this will give us, this will actually give us the entangler, which is a major part in this Easter egg. So getting it super early on just pretty much lets me get on with uh, everything else we need to do. Because next whole kind of like gimmick is we need to get four key cards around the map and enter them into Neil in a certain order. Now, lucky for me, all right, there's a website where like, if you just put in the all symbols that you had, it'll give you the order without having to go around the map and look for the piece of paper, which is a massive time save. Okay, so here we go. Press this button, uh, jump down here, grab the school, grab the entangler, and we'll also grab this piece of pack punch right here. And then we can head up here and go through this portal. And then we're into the fear. So make our way out of here. There we go. And then we can go ahead and grab our final piece of pack punch And I guess we can start working on the key cards. So let's go ahead and grab this helmet right here. And what we need to do is we can take this helmet and throw it at that monitor there. And the key card we need to pick up is right here. So we got uh, like this, this symbol that looks like Dr. Disrespect. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my little website thingy here. We also might as well get myself a third gun because we are going to need it when we pick up
up a certain weapon so it doesn't become our mule munchies weapon and then yeah we repair the bridge go in the projector room and then just immediately leave because we have no reason to really be in there right now come over here grab this symbol now the reason we had to go into the projector room is because that spawns in the blue uh, cryptid which gives us another key card then we can actually come down here and grab the key card that's in the vent and then throw it into the vent all the way back there i think i might have missed though i did miss that's fine go ahead oh my god i missed it again okay i'll come back for it because i think the blue cryptid is here yeah there he is so i want to kill him around here oh my god i killed the other zombie okay you know what it's fine it's not the end of the world let's go ahead and find the key card he dropped here it is now quickly maybe before the round ends we can go ahead and finally get this key card i don't know how i missed it twice that's actually crazy but now we need to find the vent that it came out of if we're super lucky it's one of these two vents down here so it's not this one but i think it has to be this one yeah there it is so my website is telling me that i gotta put this one into this two slot two the m needs to go into slot one i don't know why i'm going the long way around but you know we are we'll go ahead and grab this key card here that one needs to go into slot three and our final key card is just this one down here so a cool little movement tech is that once that's done we can just press escape through and it'll take us right to where we need to be that movement tech i think it's just a little trick i don't think it's super worth it though because we still have like one more thing we need to use our fate and fortune cards for which we kind of can't do right now so to whether or not it was worth it i don't know but we basically we threw that button into the movie we got pressed the button down there now we're onto this little puzzle thing here and essentially all we've got to do is take a picture of it and we got to turn all of the vertical ones or all the horizontal ones on the original picture okay there you go perfect so once we do that they should all go straight like that now we're actually onto the final step before the boss fight so before the boss fight i'm going to go ahead and hit the magic wheel just a few times to build up my fate and fortune card uh, meter even though i'm not actually going to use the weapons unless i get like the uh, ebr which is the weapon i'm actually looking for i need to fit it up to at least over halfway okay that should do so what i'm gonna go do is i'm gonna come over here and buy the ebr because this gun absolutely shreds the boss especially if we do a certain trick uh, but what we gotta do is we for some reason we gotta shoot this monitor here shoot it with the uh, entangler and then pick up neil and for some reason i don't know how it works it just stops all the doors from closing on you which is really good just because this door's closed but i can just enter it because neil shut it beforehand and that helps because the amount of times that i've gotten stuck on that door before in the past is unreal so let's go ahead enter pack punch throw neil in this dusty little computer here and we'll pack punch our ebr and as you can see that actually managed to fill up our uh fortune card just gives us a coupon clipper makes our next purchase completely free so we can go ahead and double pack punch this real quick and then we're literally ready to go into the boss fight so go ahead and interact with neil and there you go boys oh, what am i doing we did that in 10 minutes that's actually not too bad i know speedruns do it a lot quicker but for me i'm happy with that right so we just gotta go ahead and take out all these rhinos get lost little boy so as long as we don't die in the boss fight we should literally have no problems getting this in under four hours but it's all about if we don't die i've got some tricks up my sleeve don't worry boys i always come prepared so the first wave of it is just cryptids which are getting absolutely shredded by my ebr even though it's out of ammo which isn't great I need to make sure i'm buying ammo uh, as often as i can but it's free it's not even like i'm actually buying it yeah make sure this gun is full it's like actually mandatory okay so now we have to do this pretty much the same thing again except it's gonna be blue uh cryptids this time which shouldn't be too much of a problem because they are just easy to kill i think actually we can start cheesing because it's a crazy cheese method for this boss fight right so i actually think we can go do now so this dcm8 right l weapon right like actually like poopy dookie right but it has a hidden little ability whenever you run out of ammo and use up the last shot you go invisible to the zombies and now when you've got a thing that literally gives you infinite ammo you could just keep shooting and the zombies will never see you and it's actually kind of op it's a little bit cheap but boys you know sometimes you gotta do things to make your lives easier right why would you take the hard way and there's this easy little trick right here so we have to wait until a rhino spawns i think one's actually just spawned in so i'm gonna give it just a few more seconds and as soon as we grab another set of ammo there we go let's keep going let's go for it boys so there's gonna be three computers that have now turned on around the map and we need to press them all in a certain amount of time so that is the second one go ahead and turn on the last one there we go nice now we literally just go back to cheesing and it's actually just free like that and um, now we just sit here for like 90 seconds until we're ready to actually continue on with the boss fight so it's actually going really really well i can't lie so basically there's that computer there that says 98 seconds where it's going down we have to survive pretty much until that hits zero and then as soon as it hits zero we can just run out all death on it and i'll spawn in the last two blue rhinos which is like the main boss of this easter egg and then we should just be able to absolutely destroy them uh, as you'll see in about 80 seconds and then that will be the easter egg complete boys we've actually done this like quite quick like, again i'm not a speedrun or anything like that but i actually am really interested in the speedruns for this game well all the maps except shallow and shuffle and attack of the radio explainer right? i actually can't wrap my head around those maps i like easter eggs that are like quite short and like straight to the point especially ones that have like really cool little tactics in them that like make the uh speedrun a lot more fun like the raven the redwood tactics with uh the transponder bro that was insane and like this one with like the fate and fortune cards and like it's just crazy bro so i actually am borderline tempted to try and like learn a few speedruns so if you guys want to see me like stream that or anything like that then like let me know yeah as you guys can see we've got 35 seconds left on the clock just sitting here holding down my left mouse button make sure i don't run out of ammo overall just living my best life i remember struggling with this so much though when we did uh this originally without director's cut this easter egg was hard bro now we're absolutely just cruising so we've got 10 more seconds left then we'll literally just run out and uh hold f and that should despawn all of the cryptids so one and it should all be despawning now so i run over here and hold f go ahead and pop ego trip and 
pretty much we're just gonna sit right here and we should just be able to absolutely destroy these rhinos look at that there's already one down there's a second one down boys and that is it that is every single input warfare easter egg done in four hours boys we literally halved our time from the original video obviously we used director's cut in that video we didn't and this can easily be improved especially if i manage to speed up shall and shuffle and attack on the radio because if him by actually like learning kind of like the speed run techniques of that it could go lower but for me i this is like a personal accomplishment right i'm really happy with this all right well i mean that is the end of the video i do hope you guys did enjoy but anyone who's going to comment where is the mephistopheles boss fight i'm going to do that in a separate video all right don't worry but yeah i mean if you guys did like the video you know, leave a like on the video help me beat the youtube algorithm leave a comment saying you know whatever give me another challenge to do another easter egg challenge and uh, yeah i mean other than that i guess i'll just see you guys in the next video